the law. For a link to the PDF version of these instructions, check down below in the description. The 2x4 raised garden bed design, made of 2 foot sections and 4 foot sections, requires two 4 foot timbers and two 2 foot timbers connected with stacking brackets and four stacking stakes per level. It will also require four finishing caps on the final level. For a full list of required parts and cubic soil required for each level, check down below in the description. To connect your boards and brackets, take a bracket and slide one onto either end of your board until the snap lock hole is lined up. Once you have the hole lined up, take one of your snap lock plugs and lay it flat onto that opening. Then with the palm of your hand, apply firm pressure until you hear a click. Now flip the board around and repeat this step on the other side. If you're having trouble installing the snap lock plugs by hand, you can also use a hammer or mallet to install them. If you think that you've installed your bracket in the wrong orientation and you need to remove it and flip it around, you can do so using a flathead screwdriver. Take the flathead screwdriver and insert it into the opening on either side of the snap lock plug. Insert it and apply firm pressure into the snap lock plug and then twist up. Then flip it around again and repeat this step. Firm pressure into the nub and twist up. Now you can remove your bracket and flip it around. When bracketing your four foot and two foot timbers for the two by four design, make sure that you install all brackets in an alternating orientation for both of your two foot and four foot timbers. So here we have on this side, the bracket is in the top position and on the opposite side, it is in the down position. So make sure that all of your boards are connected in exactly this pattern. For hard surface installation, you can use a hacksaw to cut off the part of the stake that inserts into the ground. Lay out the first level of your frame flat on the ground so that you can see the footprint of your garden before securing the stakes into the ground. Use stacking stakes for the ground level of your base design. When you're first connecting the joints, insert the stacking stakes in an upside down position. This will allow you to make adjustments to the base shape before securing these stakes into the ground. Once you have the first level of your design laid out properly, flip over the stakes and hammer them into the ground. one level design you would just install your finishing caps and you'd be good to go. For all additional multi-level designs we'll be using stacking stakes for all additional levels which will insert into the top of your ground level stakes. Once you're finished with the final level of your frame, the last step is to install your finishing caps and then you're ready to fill with soil and start planting. If you have any questions on this instructional video, please email us at support at frameitall.com.